Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, August 2, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 9, 2023, our system has ranked Palantir as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.60. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 98.64% since we first listed Palantir as a buy candidate 59 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.67% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 84.8% .8 change over the next three months, with a possible return between 59.31% and 96.19%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 60.64% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 21.89% and 69.53%. This translates to a price range of $14.82 to $32.16 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Palantir stock price fell more than minus 5.10% Wednesday closing at $18.97. The Palantir stock price fell by minus 5.10% on the last day, Wednesday, August 2, 2023, from $19.99 to $18.97. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 8.1% from a day low at $18.15 to a day high of $19.62. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still up by 5.1% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 1 million shares and in total, 97 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.85 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $20.24, and the lowest price was $5.84. Currently, the price is 6.27%, or $1.27, below the 52-week high, and 57.84%, or $26.03, below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. The Palantir stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $17.96 and $16.31. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. 
Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, August 1, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 5.10%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 68 days ago. Short term moving average, buy signal 5 days ago. Long term moving average, buy signal 60 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 58 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. The long term moving average, buy signal 61 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 121 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $16.30 and $14.71. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Palantir finds support just below today's level at $16.30. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $14.71 and $14.69. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $1.47 between high and low, or 8.1%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 7.38%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 07, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.0500. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $19.84. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $16.30. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 26, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider buy of 369,067 shares of class A common stock. On May 29, 2023, Palantir Technologies Incorporated conducted an insider buy of zero shares of. On July 3, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 37,076 shares of Class A common stock. On June 15, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 7,000 shares of Class A common stock. On June 15, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 3,595 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 17.694. Overall, 
insiders purchased 7,343,217 shares and sold 10,509,345 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $17.89, minus 5.70%. This stock has high daily movements and this gives high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Palantir stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, August 3rd, we expect Palantir to open down $0.0567 and start trading at $18.91. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.